Hi everyone, to Rolly Tutoring here. Today we are going to go through the derivation of the derivative of cotangent x. You should be familiar by now that cotangent x, we take the derivative of that, we get negative cosecant squared x. But what we want to know in this video is how do we get there? What is the derivation process to get to this? Okay, so we're going to go through it together. Before we start, we need to know that there is identity that states that cotangent x is equal to cosine x over sine x. We're going to be using this and substituting this in for cotangent x. So let's start off. First step in this process is to do that. So we're going to say d dx cosine x over sine x. Now we have a fraction here. What we're going to want to do with this fraction in order to evaluate the derivative of it is we are going to want to apply the quotient rule. The quotient rule is as follows. Say we are taking the derivative of a fraction where we have f over g. When we do this, the quotient rule would give us derivative f times g minus derivative g times f all over g squared. So let's apply this to cosine x over sine x. To do that, we have to know that the derivative of cosine x is equal to negative sine x, and that the derivative of sine x is equal to cosine x. Okay, now that we've gotten all of that out of the way, let's go ahead and apply this to our cosine x over sine x. When we do that, we get negative sine x times sine x minus cosine x times cosine x all over sine squared x. Okay, so let's go ahead and simplify this a bit. I'm just going to put this line here separating our notes from our actual derivation. All right, continuing on, we get negative sine squared x minus cosine squared x all over sine squared x. Okay, I'm just going to scroll down a little bit, make some more room. Okay, so I'm going to want to factor out this negative in my numerator. When I do that, I get negative 1, and then I have sine squared x plus cosine squared x, again, all over sine squared x. Okay, now I'm going to write this down in my notes over here. I have this identity from grade 11 math, if you're in Ontario. If not, it's identity that we're aware of, which states that sine squared x plus cosine squared x is equal to 1. This is called the Pythagorean identity, and we're going to use it here. We are going to substitute it in right here. All right, so we do that, and we get negative 1 over sine squared x. Well, if we recall, cosecant, sorry, cosecant squared x is the same thing as saying 1 over sine squared x. So we can change this. Instead of saying negative 1 over sine squared x, we can say negative cosecant squared x. Well, isn't that what we were said? We were told that we were supposed to get at the beginning of this? Yeah, it was. So there we go. We've completed our derivation. So through all that process, we discovered that the derivative of cotangent x is equal to negative cosecant squared x. And that is that. Thank you so much for watching um, and for supporting this channel. If this video was helpful, please be sure to leave a thumbs up down below. I really appreciate it. Um, I'll see you in the next video. Thanks. Bye.